This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Oh, yeah, man. Here we go. Mickey James, Trish Stratus going to get it on. Wow. Wow, well, Mickey James was. Well, Trish was too. What, would you say this is kind of the beginning of the turn to More really good women. women's wrestling? Yeah, these two girls were, these two ladies, I'm sorry, were, yeah. were tremendous. Right, right, right. And they, they kind of, would you say they were pioneers for women's wrestling? I mean, it, that's a, that's a stupid thing to say when you have to go all the way back and you talk about, you know, the women who wrestled years and years like Medusa, I like Mula, like, like Mae Young, but, but these were, put it this way, kind of pioneers for the modern day, maybe wrong, right? Yeah. Okay. I would agree. What do you think of the outfit here? Uh, I like it. Oh, so I see the sign psycho. So does she, she kind of a play, uh, a psycho, yeah, she's uh, a, heel she's bitch type of thing. She's just Stratus uh -huh. and grabbed her in the groin at WrestleMania oh. to like make her submit to, or break a hold. And then, then like pretended to lick her fingers clean. I mean, she's just, whoa, yeah. now, whoa. Now that, uh, you combine that with, uh, walking on water. They, they're really, uh, doing cutting edge shit here, aren't they? They are. Wow. I don't know okay. if it's any good, but yeah. Mm. Okay. So give me a Trish Stratus update. I know she's been doing something <clears throat> or at least she had recently with the WWE. Yeah. She uh, popped back up for a couple of appearances. She's a hall of famer. Yes. Uh, in real life, married has babies, um, mm -hmm. entrepreneur, got a bunch yeah. of businesses, not married. Any, uh, it's yeah. She's married. Or, yeah. But it, it, her husband, one of the boys. No, uh, he's like, a real, oh. he's like a real person. Okay. <laughs> I'll go backstage AEW one day and say, can I see a real person, please? <laughs> you know what? And everybody back there will know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, people in the business refer to real people as civilians, almost like they're in the army themselves. Yeah. I'll say, can I see a real person? They'll turn around. They say, is that a GoPro on your head? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Son, you got a GoPro on your head. Who would have the funniest reaction? Matt Jackson, Chris Harrington, Tony <laughs> Khan, Cody, uh, Jericho. Who would have the funniest reaction to seeing you with this fucking apparatus? Oh, Taz. Oh yeah. God, Taz would <laughs> piss his pants laughing. <laughs> oh, God. I would have to be rolling the camera to get his reaction. Taz would, <laughs> would push himself back <laughs> away from the table and then just fall over laughing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But, uh, you mentioned Tony Khan. Tony would just walk by and say, Hey, <laughs> just keep going. Cause he's always focused on, on something else. It's just, uh, but wow, I got to do it, man. I've got, I've got, I've got to do it. I've got to do it. But then again, you know, you, you got it. You got one of them GoPros on your head and they'll think, you know, you, you, are you, you're not shooting shit in the, in the backstage area. Are you, uh, that we don't know about. So then everybody will be kind of, uh, paranoid. No, the camera's not rolling. Oh, yes, it is. I bet you. No, it's not. See, there's no light on to the camera. How do you know? I can see that right now. I'm not saying wear it all day. <laughs> I'm not saying <laughs> oh, wear I know it what you're saying. Meetings. Wow. Well, how, about how about that move? That's tremendous, man. Wow. Trish laying them in too. Yeah, wow. Trish, Trish was good, man. Yes, she was. I can see why she's in the hall of fame. She could do some great shit, but the fans are not with it. Unfortunately, this one gets a uh, three quarter star huh. with, um, the torch mm -hmm. and Alvarez, uh, gave, uh, I guess no rating at all. Yeah. Isn't it, uh, am, am I right to say this, that when a writer or a dirt sheet person or a reviewer doesn't like a show, nothing's going to get a good rating in it. I mean, you may have. You may have one match get like a three star or two and a half star or something like that, but they're going to pretty much shit on everything because they don't like the show. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, God, I like that. Chris masters and Carlito match sucked. And, uh, what Lita said, 
I didn't like, and Flair did the job, and this McMahon interview sucked. So, you know, nothing after that's going to – all all of a sudden they just don't like the show, and they're going to shit on everything. When I think that uh, – Hey, pay attention. I think there's a big – oh, she's hurt bad. Oh, really? Hurt bad right now. Separated shoulder. Oh, bad, God. Bad hurt. You're going to see him throw up the X. Yeah. Rough fall here. Rough landing. Wow. That arm going backwards on the apron. Bad deal, man. Wow. I don't even want to watch it again. So what did they do? They, 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 they I, she just. Ruff's going to throw up the X. She's hurt. She's going to go another couple minutes and then mm-hmm. we're going to go to the finish. Oh man. Oh, bad for her. Me too. Yeah. There's the X. And now he's in there right now. Hey man, she fucked for real. Yeah. Wow. Hate to see that. I did too. Yeah. And I think, uh, at least some of the people are realizing what's going on. You know, something I saw over the weekend. I want to get your opinion on. Okay. You're a big, uh, back to the future mm-hmm. guy, right? I loved it. Yeah, absolutely. Loved it. Me too. We have that in common. And I read over the weekend that, uh, Biff and back to the future too, was based on Donald Trump. Wow. In a big casino, high rise type thing. Yeah. I never, I never brought or put two and two together on that deal at all. Well, you think they really was based on Donald Trump or that's just the Hollywood elite trying to shit on Trump even more because you know, that, that happens. I don't know, man. I was trying to be funny and talk about movies. <laughs> it's my bad. No, I just think I, uh, you just don't know. Tell Lois to leave the room. So you don't have to talk like that anymore. No. Okay. <laughs> she did. Uh, she's on her way to the chiropractor right now. Hey, uh, have we talked about CM Punk's, uh, movie on Netflix girl on the third floor? I didn't even know he had one. So no, we haven't. Yeah. It was coming out. Uh, I don't know late last year and, uh, it got some critical acclaim and people dug it. Well, it's on Netflix now Uh and I watched it, I don't know, a week or two back since we've been quarantined. I kind of dug it. I'm not usually a horror movie guy, but, uh, I think you've told me before that you're not really a horror movie guy, right? Not, no, not at all. Well, let me give you a spoiler because you're not going to watch it. Maybe, maybe you will watch it after this. He gets in trouble for ghost pussy. Okay. I'm in. (laughs) That's pretty unique. Yes. Yeah. Who was the writer on that one? <laughs> I'm going to, if I could stay awake the rest of the day, I'm going to watch it. Look at Trish holding her right arm a certain way. Like, yeah. God, get me out of here. I got to pretend like this stuff. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.